All right, guys, I'm just doing a quick update. This is actually day four of searching for Daisy. Um, we did get some people up here yesterday and we did some grid searching in the area that we feel like is most likely that she went to, but um, so far we still haven't turned anything up. Uh, we do have a few people, as you can see, uh, behind me up here, and I know there's a few more folks coming today. And uh, we're just gonna continue to do grid searching um, and uh, see if we can find her. You know, Daisy was very old. She was very decrepit. She could, you know, a lot of this country is very rugged. I feel like she can't be too far. That she, and uh, so we're we're working an area of about half mile, and that in each direction right now. And that's kind of our main focus. Um, my my feeling is is that we just recently put Daisy on some THC to help with her joints, and I don't know if. Uh, the anxiety of the, you know, just driving the forest road because Daisy used to, you know, usually always gets a little anxiety when we're driving and stuff like that. She's never really cared for the van moving. Um, so I don't know if the TH, the addition of the THC, she just kind of got, kind of lost her wits a little bit. I don't know. Um, Megan and I have been trying, been trying to make sense of it and we just haven't been able to, but we don't know what would cause her to wander off. Um, and we don't know kind of what her thought process was going because typically like i said you know we stop i stop all the time to let her out of the van and she usually just goes to the bathroom and lays down by the van or hangs out by the van while i'm tinkering around with whatever so the fact that she wandered off is just really out of so um her normal behavior so like i said the only thing we can really kind of put together is the thc might have you know just had her a little off this that morning so Anyways, people are asking if we found her yet. At this point, we have not found her. Um, I know that we've got quite a, a couple people coming up. At this point, I don't know that we need a lot more help um, just because it would just be, I don't know, you know, hard to manage. I mean, definitely anybody with SAR um, um, background would definitely be appreciated because we need more people that can manage or team lead. So if you have SAR background, I definitely could use those type of people. Um, but uh, yeah, just that's the update I have this morning.